Hey everybody, this is Nick with Akai Professional. Today I'm going to show you how you can update your Forces firmware. Start by going to the Akai Pro website, select Products, and choose Force. Scroll down on the Forces page, click Downloads, and download the firmware update for your operating system. If you're going to update the firmware with an external storage device, download the updater marked USB. In order to update via USB, put the .iso file on the root directory of an external storage device like a USB flash drive or SD card and connect the device to the force. Aside from that, the USB update process is similar to the desktop application process. I'll come back to that later in this video. The updater application will come compressed, so unzip it once it's downloaded. When you've unzipped the updater application, launch it. If you're using a Mac operating system and you receive a message indicating that it can't be opened, Right-click the file, select Open in that menu, and select Open in the dialog to bypass your operating system's gatekeeper. Now that the updater is opened, let's connect your force to the computer with the included USB 3 cable and power it on. Connect the cable to the back of the force and connect the other end directly to a USB port on your computer. The force is class compliant, so it will not require any drivers in order to connect and transfer data. When the force is booted, open an empty project. Push the menu button and select the gear icon at the top of the screen to open the preferences menu. With the info tab selected at the left, hold the shift button and select update toward the bottom of the display to put the force into update mode. Select update to proceed. The force will power off and reboot in update mode. If you're using an external storage device with the USB updater file, you'll now be prompted to proceed with the update. The force will handle the update process from a storage device, so allow it to process the update until it's completed. Do not disconnect the storage device or power off the force while the update is applied. If you're using the desktop application, click Update Force. Allow the updater to process the update until it's completed. Do not disconnect the USB cable or power off the force while the update's applied. When the update is complete, your force will reboot. You can check that the update was applied successfully by returning to the Info tab and checking the force firmware version. I hope this video has been helpful. Please leave all comments and questions in the section below and check the video description for more popular guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.